Your respiratory system consists of many different organs, including the nose, mouth, trachea, and lungs. Its main function is to breathe oxygen in and exhale carbon dioxide out. Having a strong respiratory system is important in everyday bodily function, as it aids in delivering oxygenated blood to tissues and removing waste carbon dioxide through the lungs. Avoiding pollution and improving indoor air quality can help to improve your respiratory system. Pollutants in the air can damage lung tissue, induce chronic inflammation, and travel through the bloodstream and harm other organs, such as your brain. We can all contribute and reduce overall pollution by using more energy efficient items. Carpool or use public transportation, keep your car tuned and tires properly inflated, mulch or compost yard waste, change filters regularly on household items, keep your air ducts clean, and have indoor plants to freshen the air. Regular exercise can help improve your respiratory system. Over time, if you stay consistent in doing exercises, your bones get stronger, your muscles get bigger, and your respiratory system actually gets stronger as well. It can help improve lung capacity and improve the ability to extract oxygen from the lungs, increasing the efficiency of your respiratory system. Any exercise that increases your heartbeat, such as walking or jogging, can be beneficial. Interval training, where you exercise at different levels of intensity, is also a great option. And circuit training is also a great option. Circuit training allows you to combine strength and cardio training in an efficient manner. Stop smoking or stay away from smoke-filled areas. When you inhale cigarette smoke, carbon monoxide from the smoke binds with hemoglobin in red blood cells, which decreases the amount of oxygen being distributed throughout your body. And toxins contained in cigarette smoke damage alveoli which are tiny little sacs in the lungs, where the normal oxygen-carbon dioxide exchange takes place. And over time, damaged alveoli make it harder to breathe. Quitting smoking is very, very difficult. If quitting is too difficult for you or someone you know, then try to slow down. Maybe slowly cut down to 75%, then to 50% of your current use, and continue this process over time. And if you're a non-smoker, then try to avoid smoke-filled areas. Staying properly hydrated is also important for your respiratory system. Many of the airways in the respiratory system have a thin lining of mucus that traps particles in foreign invaders and moves them out of the nose by coughing or sneezing. This mucus has a high water content, so if you become dehydrated, the mucus can thicken, making you more susceptible to a variety of respiratory issues. It's typically recommended to drink six to eight glasses of water per day, depending on your level of activity. Consuming a balanced and nutrient-dense diet can also help improve your respiratory system. Eating a variety of foods, especially fruits and vegetables, that have a wide range of vitamins and minerals that aid in many bodily functions and also contain powerful antioxidants that can help to reduce inflammation in the body and protect cells from damaging free radicals. It's recommended to get five to nine servings of fruits and veggies per day. Maintaining a healthy weight is also important for your respiratory system. Research suggests that being overweight can impair lung function, especially when it's in the chest and abdominal areas. Studies have linked obesity to some respiratory conditions such as asthma and sleep apnea, and being underweight can cause a loss in muscle mass, which can affect the muscles used for breathing and can also impair the immune system, which in turn can compromise your respiratory system. Maintaining a healthy weight can be difficult as we're surrounded by food almost everywhere we go. Understanding serving sizes and cutting back on sauces and dressings can be a big help. Laughing can actually help improve your respiratory system. Laughing can decrease stress and release beneficial chemicals inside your body, but it can also be a workout for your respiratory system as your chest, diaphragm, and abdominal muscles tighten. It also brings on deeper exhalation and a deeper inhalation, basically requiring much deeper breathing. So getting together with friends or family and having some laughs not only benefits your mental health, but also your respiratory health. Just moving your body more throughout the day can be beneficial to your respiratory system. Today, we as a society sit more and more. We can watch and stream just about anything, anywhere. The amount of physical movement required each day has gotten less and less. And while this may not directly harm the respiratory system, it can lead to increased risks of various diseases, which can directly affect the respiratory system. Just moving more throughout the day, doing work in the yard, doing daily tasks, working on a hobby that requires physical movement requires an increase in heart rate, which requires an increase in breathing that can act as a little mini workout for your respiratory system. 
Getting good quality consistent sleep is also beneficial to your respiratory system. Sleep is a time when your heartbeat slows down and breathing slows down, giving your respiratory system a bit of a break. It also stimulates tissue growth and muscle repair, giving your body sort of a recovery period. Lack of or poor quality sleep can also impair your immune system, leaving you more vulnerable to respiratory diseases. Seven to nine hours of good quality sleep are recommended for most adults and having a regular pre-sleep pattern and regular sleep time each night can be advantageous. And that be some of the things you can do to help improve your respiratory system. Hopefully you got something out of this video. If not, you can always pound that thumbs down and give me some immediate punishment for wasting your precious time. If you did find this video helpful, then I do have more videos right there that you might have an interest in. Till next time, I am out of here.